we get up all this little bitty stuff and all does come in, we'll have less of a mess to clean up when it actually does get here, if it gets here. I'm praying that it don't. Well, I just, I guess to need to see the full extent of what's going to happen here on the coast. I, mean, I kind of feel like BP's mo mostly responsible for it. And, uh, hopefully everybody that's in place to take care of these things is going to take care of it. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, you hear so many things and you don't know what to do. It's kind of a scary thought because most of my family are commercial fishermen. So it's going to hurt the industry. I feel bad for the seafood industry, most of all, and the restaurants. Most people are around here set up behind a seafood base. See how the real estate's going to go down because people won't be able to rent condos out. As you can see, it's slow today. Our beaches have been being packed, but it's not today. And it's I live here in Dauphin Island, enjoying the beach for the last couple of days. Try to get as much as we can before the oil starts coming in, maybe do some volunteer work after that, but just right now trying to take in what we can get. Just hopefully we'll get it contained. I don't think we've totally came back from Katrina. They should have had a better system in, in works there. I mean, this could happen at any platform out there. I mean, that was just slow. I mean, they don't have a better system than that. All the millions of dollars they make. <laughs> it's going to be very bad. It's going to take a long time to clean all this up. It's going to be devastating for years, we believe. But you've got to hope for the best and just try to go on.